Ooh. Yeah, it's going. Lord, I hate to say that because I don't want to. I, I have to say it because I have to look at the damn light. I'm not the light, the counter to see if it's going. Okay, y'all, here we are the next morning. I had the worst night um, as far as sleep and tossing and turning. Yes, I am talking about it today. The only thing that I regret yesterday, as far as my video yesterday, is that I didn't come in on in all my naturalness. It, and and that may not mean anything to a lot of you all, but I didn't come in. You know, I m as far as my appearance, who I am in natural. I don't. I didn't want that. To, you know, the wig, the hair, or any of that to cloud what I was talking about. And I truly felt the need, you know, to come back in and all my naturalness and my natural curls, honey, my ponytails pent back. And just me, you know what I mean? Embracing and loving the fact that I am a black woman. Although I am a black woman living in one of what, even though there are freedoms, one of the most treacherous places in the world, believe it or not. You know, anywho, listen. So I said yesterday, and I definitely did get several emails today. You know, I guess trying to engage me. Yeah, I'm going to get these nails done today. In some of the stuff I said. I had a love that's been with me for a while. Write me and say much love. Some of what you said, it almost came off as you were bitter. You know, at all white folks or whatever. When I made... I definitely said that I am talking about the people that are involved. But if you expect me to come on and dismiss the history of my people, you can forget about it. Just because you want to forget, just because it is 20 generations down, and of course you didn't have anything to do with it or whatever, does not mean that I will dismiss my history. Don't expect that from me. But with that being said, if you've been my love for a long time, you know that I have embraced everybody. Everybody. So, you know, although you do have a right to, and I do want you all to give me your opinion and vent and all of that, but don't ask me to not be me. Never. Because you'll never get that. I had one love that left a comment and said much love. You know, great video. But, you know, I was, they felt a little reserved. I will agree with that. Because it was a lot of shit that I wanted to say. And just out of just pure anger. Along with anger, it was the way I was feeling. You know, but... In all things, you still have to keep your cool and have restraints. Some restraints. Some. You know, ain't too many filters over this bitch. You know what I mean? That's, you know, it ain't too many filters. You know. But I've had so many loves reach out to me. Um, I And, oh my God, just on how they feel about what happened. Oh shit. Y'all, my damn uh, computer's about to go willy nilly on me. Hold on. Okay, I had to get my plug, y'all. I had to get my plug. Um, and, you know, and some that have said they are so hurt and they cannot believe and truly. Yesterday, they realized for sure that they are presumed to be less than human. Black folks are presumed to be less than human and really understood just how racist our country is and understood just how they feel about us. Those particular ones. And I'm speaking to the racists. If you are not, like I said yesterday, if you are not, then let this shit fly. It don't fucking apply. 
Okay? If you are not. If you are, then shit is intended for you. You know. I watched last night to the point where, and my husband had the family say, stop watching this baby, you're just getting too upset. I watched and I looked at social media as, 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 uh, what the hell? As, um, they were showing pictures and on the news of the buildings burning and this and that and other and, you know, just the anger and all those types of things that people had and shit. The people looting and y'all can't let that stay down there. I don't think, I'm not telling y'all how much love is kind of fanatical when it comes to things like that. And some people said, you know, and on the news they said they're not even trying, the fire trucks went by and they're not even trying to uh, come and, you know, rectify the problem. I even try to put this building out or whatever. And I thought to myself, I wonder if y'all heard me when I said that there are much bigger things in the play. And when I told y'all a long time ago, keep your eyes wide open and not wide shut. Understand why they did what they did as far as what time they wanted it to be said. Understand what the police was doing when they decided that we just going to kind of push them back. You know what I mean? We, you know, we're not going to be as intact as we had been. Understand that, yes, the National Guard was there, baby. But understand who they were there to protect. They were there to protect just those folks that, you know, we have, a, you know, that we are upset with. They were there to protect that community that they felt that they feel is precious and needs to be protected. They were there to make sure that the suburbs were not touched by it. They were there to make sure that who they deem to be better people, basically the just of it, and whether you like it or not, white folks were protected. And they were nestled in their homes and safe so that they could sit at home, watch TV, and do exactly what they wanted them to do. Turn Fox News on and watch them say, look at them. That's what they were there for. I will take you back to Katrina. <laughs> when, Bu when Bush showed his ass and he decided that he wanted to do his own somewhat, you know, uh, depopulization. When he decided that the National Guard was there, and even though they had buses and the people could have went somewhere else, that they would guard the wealthier parts of the state. When he decided that we're just talking about poor, poor blacks, blacks, poor whites, undesirables to them. When he decided that shit, and that is the same shit in my mind, in my opinion, that went on last night. Understand that when they did it at 9 o'clock, it was to go along with everything that they had planned. They knew a long time ago, weeks ago, that it was not going to be in the Browns family's favor. I don't know if you all know the prosecutor and how he feels. And I had to do some research on it. And one of my loves let me know. And I wish I would have done more research on this prosecutor. Uh, well, shit, did it stop? On this prosecutor before, long before now. That apparently he, I believe it was his dad that was killed or something like that by a black man or whatever. He has a, he is without a doubt you know a black folks hater he is a black man hater as is most of most of most of most of maybe not all of I have to say most of because I gotta believe there's one or two of them that just kind of like hey you know this ain't what I'm about this is just a gig most of them feel in St. Louis that 
like I said, he was holding back the smiles and things that he wanted to get because he was elated as he limped his motherfucking ass out there. Uh, and what happened. So to him and the way he went about this process, he knew what was going to happen. He knew that was the only way that he was going to have full control and that he was going to be able to get that officer's back, which they all support this and that and other. He knew that this was a way for him to vindicate himself or whatever the case may be. Or at the very least, I'm going to get these niggas. Okay? It, it, it's simple as that. Whether you want to embrace that or not, that is your right. This is my opinion. And what happened last night, to add to it, was him to do it at 9 o'clock. And the motherfucker sat on there and tried to come for Twitter, social media, this and that and other. And as one of the reporters asked him a particular question, he basically said, you're the one, you're the one. right, Motherfucker, please. I, I couldn't wait for them to ask some serious questions. I don't know how anybody sat in there that was not a bigot and was able to contain themselves. Because, see, everything in me would have asked him, which it was asked, given, and that's when he got upset, talking about the shit and the controversy behind him and things that he has done. Everything in me would have asked him, the, your decision, was it, you know, swayed because of what happened to your family? Was this get back for you? You know, granted, I probably would have lost my motherfucking job, but guess what a bitch would have been? I'd have been in my, listen, before I sell out, I got to get the hell out. Understand that. They let buildings burn on purpose. They didn't try to do anything because they didn't care. I mean, to them, shit, as long as they turn their own shit up and they don't fuck with us, we fine. Shit, we would, this is a show. Shit. This is motherfucking, this is a show. Let's cut this shit on. Let's watch this and see what's going on so that we can go, mm, see, that's why we so much better. This and that and other. And you're not. You got to remember that. And remember, again, I am saying and I am speaking directly to those that are bigots. You got to remember that those same people that would take joy in what happened yesterday are the same motherfuckers that handed the Indians the motherfucking blankets with smallpox. Y'all don't want me to go into it. Y'all really don't want me to. The same kind of motherfucker that mutilated and beat and killed Emmett Till because he was supposedly had whispered I whistled at a white woman. Okay. Them same kind of motherfuckers. The same kind of motherfuckers that um, <laughs> I, I'm going to stop with that because I, I, I really could go all the way in and at this point I will say this again I am speaking to the bigots if anybody expects me to come on and not be human and not stay true to who I am you are sadly fucking mistaken and you are on the wrong channel please understand me and I would be happy to see you go if you expect me to be anything other than me Simple as that. With that said, to my folks, the looting and things that went on, I do understand the anger. And, and a few of my love said, you know, people keep telling us to be peaceful, but they're not being peaceful with us. But what you did was tore down your own community. That is less stores for you. Granted, I'm a, ooh, I'm gonna keep it all the way motherfucking funky right now. Granted, most of the motherfucking stores in our community are not owned by our people. Most of the motherfucking stores are charging you way more than you would be charged at a regular store. And I don't even need to I don't even need to fucking go into who and what I am talking about. I can talk about that and say that from the beauty supply stores on to the motherfucking store where you go and get your black and male baby. But let me let you in on something. Let me let you in on something. You black and male folks and cigarellos not saying anything's wrong with that. They sell those at other stores as well. I just want to add that. You know, there's other ways to get hurt. 
moving forward. My mother told me years ago, if a motherfucking store can't give you a refund, you don't need to go in there and buy a motherfucking thing from them. Hello. I don't need to say what stores I'm talking about. Now, I'm not saying by no means that they are the cause or whatever. I am just speaking to the stores that were in the community and the things, the little things that they have let you have, let you have, let you have. Let me keep saying that let, allowed you to have. OK. They tore up their community. Why? The officer, his family and everybody, you know, those people who really are at fault were nestled comfortably in suburbia. Not to say black folks don't live in suburbia because I ain't getting ready to sit up and motherfucking say that I'm deep in the hood. OK, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say that. But well, how did you profit? I mean, what? You know, you're angry and I understand that. But you got mad and tore up people's stuff that live in that same neighborhood. I'm not saying it should have been looting of any kind, but at the very least, why the fuck you don't shit where you eat? Maybe you can embrace that concept. I understand anger and this and that. Now, but there are other ways in which to do it. There are other ways. We as a community have not grasped the point of how, if you want, I'm going to tell y'all something, right, motherfucker, that has been said millions of times. You want to hurt a motherfucker, hurt them in their motherfucking pockets. You understand what I'm saying? If we decide and say we are not going to fucking spend our money with people who treat us less than what we are. And and I just said it one million and one times, and I know some other folks have said it, and it may not mean anything. You know, it's 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 that mentality that has been beat into your head that you know what I'm saying that you have to settle for this and this and that. Another, you have you don't have to. You decide that this is what you want to deal with, and at a point you have to decide that you are tired of whatever, and I'm not going to deal with this. And it's a way to do that without it being violent, you know, or whatever. With that being said, don't get me wrong, because if a motherfucker come for you, black, white, blue, or motherfucking yellow, drop they motherfucking asses. From eight to motherfucking 80. Okay? If it is doing, you know, if it means you death and harm or whatever, do what you have to do. But what I am saying, there are bigger and better ways in which to go about this without tearing up your own space. Yes, there's anger, there's hurt, all of that. But we have to find a way. We have to. Today I shared a story on the Much Love page where it was a woman who went to go. And if you're not far on the Much Love Facebook page, by all means go over and check it out. The link will be in the panty section in the info bar. That went to go and purchase a gun, but she was not allowed. She was not able to get the gun. First they pulled the you didn't fill it out right. Um, of course, always thinking that black folks don't have common sense. Or we don't have sense or we're not literate or whatever. I bad to fucking differ. Then when she brought back the proper information, he finally had to come clean and say that we were told by the Ferguson police and by the police to not sell any guns until after things died down. Ain't that a bitch? Listen, I am 100%. I am so for the right to bear arms. Do it the right way and the legal way. Be within your motherfucking rights. You should be able to protect yourself. I really am. But understand what they're you know what they're trying to do. Understand your numbers. Understand that for a long time we have not been the minority. <laughs> it is what it is. Um understand your rights. Know that you have a right to do 
just what anyone else does as an American citizen. Black, white, blue, or yellow. Do not let them just tell you any motherfucking thing. No doesn't always mean no, but except when it comes to sex. Okay? I was always told that. There's always a way. But do it the right way. Go the proper channels or whatever. I would say this. Look at what's going on. This is exactly what they want. And like I said, this is a catalyst as far as I'm concerned. A prelim to martial law. Make no mistakes about it. Whether you want to embrace it or not. It is. Today I was going to try to cut some music on and see if I could get myself in a better state of mind. You know, and, and it dawned on me and I thought about it and I said, you know, I wonder how important today is the American Music Awards. I wonder how important today is Beyonce and the rest of them. You know, you like who you like. You know, I wonder how important all of those irrelevant things, the hip hop holes, the Atlanta holes and all of that is important today. Just how much significance does it have today? We have to open our eyes and look at what's important. We are a community that needs to wise the fuck up and learn how to embrace each other and be there for each other. Understand that you don't have to accept being treated less than a human being. You don't. Understand that there is another way in which to have progress and get things done. Understand that. But understand that it is not going to be just done today. And it was not going to be just done yesterday. This is some shit that has been. This is on some. This shit going on now is on some Willie Lynch shit. <laughs> this shit has been embedded for a long time. Like I said. You can be one of the most docile people in the world, a community, but you are not used to certain kind of treachery. When that one motherfucker comes in, baby, he will change everything. When your eyes is open and you see just how ruthless a motherfucker can be. You understand what I'm saying? And in order to instill that and keep that shit going, they have to keep this Willie Lynch ass lie going. I've said this once, I've said it twice, and I'm going to continue to say it. When they beat down our black man, they beat our whole community. Women, you can be as strong as you want to. You can be as wise and as, you know, uh, confident and as, you know, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Y'all just escapes me. Uh, independent as you want to be. But we are not shit. If we are not whole. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not saying we ain't shit. But we do need to be as a whole. We need to we need to support our men. And our husbands and men and sons and things. Black men. You need to support us as well. So that we can be strong for you. When you need us to be. You understand what I'm saying? Once they... Tore our black men down. They fucked our whole community and our whole mindset. Now, some people may disagree with me on that. And I will be the first one to say that, yes, I raised my children as a single mother or whatever. But it was hard in a motherfucker. That ain't nothing I wish on nobody. I commend you for being able to stand in that shit because it is hard as hell. It ain't no motherfucking skipping the park and this and that and other. No, it ain't. Not if you want them to be raised Right. Not if you want them to be able to eat and eat properly. Not if you want them to be able to eat every day and not just every other day. It is a job. And it never fucking stops. It never stops. Y'all might not agree. What I just said, someone might say, I don't need no babies. Listen, I need and I want my husband. I need and I'm so glad to have 
my daddy. I need and am so glad to have my brother, my son, my cousins, my male cousins, okay? I'm just saying, y'all, I'm, 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 you know, I'm on one and we all over the place. And no, this is not pop. I need a cranberry. Y'all haven't. Yeah, y'all know I'm drinking cranberry. Mm -hmm. I think I got like a little bladder infection or some shit like that. You know, and you know, when it ain't happy <laughs> in the nether regions, it ain't happy all over for me. Okay. But I don't know, y'all. What I'm saying now may just be mumbling or whatever to y'all. may mean nothing, but it means something to me. And it's just me sharing. And this is exactly why I have to come in. And I've said it before from time to time. And come in and get back to exactly who and what I am. Um, what happened yesterday hurt me to my soul. Because like I said in my video, my son was in the other room. But Miss Brown's son is not. And before somebody asks me, yes, I've seen the video of her and her reactions. Y'all don't expect this woman to be subhuman. Please don't. Please don't. For a moment. Understand her pain. Understand that how long she had to look. Listen. And that chills me to my bones. How long she had to look at her child at babies. I done told y'all I'm not strong enough. And I would die trying. <laughs> Understand what I just said. I would die trying to get a motherfucker that did some shit like that to me. I know that I don't have it in me to even be able to. I don't think I do. It would be the Lord. And I know as he has done in the past, he will step in and get me together. It would be only him. It would not be nothing anybody else could say to me that would restrain me. My sole goal in life would be to get justice for my son. And uh, I, I, <laughs> mm -mm. from the moment that you have your children, and anybody that's a parent, you get these moments where when you have them and you think, and, and in hindsight, it's funny, but it's a serious thing. And you think, every time I think you could have been hurt, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, Jesus, don't say it, Lord, Jesus. You know, you think that. Like every time, you know, oh, Lord, had that have been. And you know what I mean? You get that deep embrace of the prayers because it's like you're trying to embrace your soul. Like, Lord, you know, because you're about to come up out your shit just even thinking. That's some shit. Ooh. Mm -mm. Yeah. That something could be happening to your children. That's just the way I feel. And I think about her existence and she must live a life of this. Like, for real. Like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how she, I know that I pray that God is comforting her and his dad. I don't know how they, how you even deal with that type of shit. I, I don't. I don't. And it just fucks with me. Y'all know I'm upset when I'm chain smoking. I don't know, y'all. I'm just, I'm upset. I'm trying to find a way. I have seen people say, and I've watched, you know, to protest Black Friday. The shade in Black Friday alone <laughs> is amazing to me. To not shop Black Friday, Cyber Monday, any of that. You know, now, the biggest will say, well, you mother, and this is what they think, you motherfuckers ain't got no money anyway to shop. Okay. Because their mindset is you only got what we allow you to have. And I've seen that and I thought and I was talking to Brent, I said, you know, the people that have 
somewhat a position where they could be heard the loudest. I thought about football, basketball, and all of that. I thought if the black men that played football, if they said, yeah, in solidarity with the Brown family, yeah, we're not going to play the next two games. I wonder what would happen. I'm just saying, it's, it's just me, and again, my opinions, and just thinking about all kinds of things, and how things could be changed, you know, how an impact could be made. I've thought about the president and his statements. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And at some point, you have to stand for what's right, no matter what house you live in, white, black, blue, or yellow. Simple as that. And like I said, if you sit by and you watch this happen, then you might as well have shot the gun yourself. I'm just saying. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. I looked at uh, Carol Denise, Miss Carol, in her video today, and I've talked to her before, and I've heard us mention the watch riots and things like that, and I so understood where she was coming from today. You know, I just seen the pain and the hurt in her face and anger. Kita. Kentucky, you know, just seeing her and the pain in her face and just so many others that I have seen that have done videos and this and that and other, you know, just seeing it and me at every point in each one of their videos being able to relate to, if not 100% of what they're saying and how they felt, but at least 90% and just their feelings on how they felt and how angry they were, you know. I don't know. This one has me baffled. And you know, one person wrote me and was an honorary and was like, you know, you just hate white people or whatever. I've never came up and been like that. I don't know if you all remember when the Boston bombing went on. One of the many things that stood out to me was seeing that older, elderly white man who was pushing through and doing more than my fat ass could do. Running that marathon. And being hurt at the whole thing, but something about seeing him fall, just trying to do what a lot of us can't do and run a marathon at his age. And he had done nothing. But yet, seeing that just shook me. I am for the right thing, black, white, blue, or yellow. But again, I will reiterate. If you ever ask me to forget about what what my community's past is and what they have been through just to appease you and not make you feel some kind of way, please don't. Please don't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't know. This video is just me kind of rambling. And like I said, I wanted to come in, you know. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. For some reason, that damn straight ass wig looking, going back and looking, re, you know, looking at comments and this and another, looking at myself. And I was like, I wasn't totally. And I don't know. For some reason, that I, I just felt I need to come on in all my naturalness. You know, which I hope that this brown lipstick that I love is natural enough. No makeup, no none of that. And. Just embrace who I am and be happy with who I am. I, I don't know, y'all. Just, I don't know. Leave your thoughts below. What, my question is, what do you think we can do? Can it be done? And my second one is, if there is a boycott as far as like saying, do not shop Black Friday, Cyber Monday, this holiday season, period. I'm just saying. Would that be something that you would do? You know, and I do understand the folks who will say, no, my babies, I can't take their, their, 
imagination and their hopes away. And I understand that. So I won't say the Christmas season, but even Black Friday, you know, just wondering. I feel some kind of way about even partaking in Thanksgiving today, y'all. I'm going to partake because I want to be with my family, but I have no desire to really even want to take on the pilgrim shit. I don't know. Y'all give me y'all thoughts on 